This short video shows an example XCMeet.io scoreboard. During this video, I will briefly review all of our features, including individual split standings, team split scores, finish standings, and place changes between each split. This particular race has four splits, and although the data is slightly sped up for demo purposes, the time from when a chip is read in links to when it shows up on the scoreboard is usually less than a second. Now let's get started with our first split. Now as the data begins to pour in from finish links, we can see that there's a number that increases next to the particular split that has data coming in. And in this case, that's the 2K split. So right now, uh, all of those results are coming into the system and we're seeing our individual standings get larger here as more splits come in. And once the next split starts sending data, we can then take a look at the 3K standings, the individual standings. And as you'll see here, we can tell that this particular person, the first place person right now, her place has not changed from the previous split. If we go back and take a look at that, we can see that that's the case. She was first. For some other people here, we can see that this person increased one place from her last split. This person decreased six. Um, we can also see here what the cumulative time is and also what the split time is. So this person's full 3K time is 945.4, but the, uh, the time that it took this person to run from the 2K split to the 3K split, that's 317.1. Now let's take a look at team standings. So up here, if I click on team standings, I can then click on a particular split to see, to, to see standings for that split. So for example, in the 2K, I can see that San Francisco is first, they have five of five scorers in, and they're sitting at 71 points. And I can see all the people that contributed to that particular score, uh, and so on and so forth. And this shows everybody, even teams that don't necessarily have full scorers, we show them at the bottom of the list. So that way you can at least, from this page, be able to see any person on any team that's running at a particular time. And as we can see right here, we've got data coming in for a particular split, and we can see place changes for particular teams between splits as well. So we can see that San Francisco here, they were in first at the last split, Stanford has gone up one, Oregon is the same. Now, you can also filter results on the team standings tab and on the results tab. Um, this will filter either the team name or the person name. So if you want to look for a particular person, you can start typing that in. And then you can see team standings for just someone that had or a particular team that has an Elise on it. And if I were to go back to the results tab, I could do the same thing as well. I could go to my 4K split and say I'm just interested in a particular person or a particular team, I could type that in and that's going to filter for me. And here we're getting towards our last split here. We're almost done with our last split. So uh, as soon as that split's done, we'll fire up the finish. And let's take a look at team standings and how they work as finishers come in. So Right now we've just got a couple finishers. We can see that this San Francisco has got one score, now they have two, and we can see these scores build up as the finish is happening. So it's going to sort by the number of scores and then by the number of points for that number of scores. So now that Oregon's got three out of five, they're behind San Francisco, they currently have 27, now San Francisco's got four in, and it's a really great way to kind of see team scores unfold as people start to finish. You can instantly see where somebody is um, at a particular point. And as these finishers keep coming in, we'll keep seeing these team scores uh, flesh out. So we can see this team right here, they got five out of five. Oh, then another team just came in with their fifth person, of course, because uh, it looks like yeah, they had their top five in, but then uh, someone had a fifth a little bit later, but that pushed them above. So you can see in that instant between when someone between when teams finish, you can know, hey, this person's got five, but there's still another one behind it 
um, that has a possibility of, an, of beating that team, you really get a good idea of what's happening at any particular second. And those are the current features of our xcmeet.io scoreboard as of May 31st, 2018. Thank you.